Alton Brown's 40 clove chicken. This is a recipe that I've been making for years and honestly I don't make it often because it's not the healthiest. It's got some good ingredients, you know, it's not bad for you, but it's got a lot of calories and a lot of oil. I found a way to make it healthier. Here's what we're doing. We're using boneless, skinless chicken thighs instead of whole chicken with the skin on. That's our first step in making this healthier. According to the USDA National Nutrient Database, skinless chicken thigh is approximately 119 calories per 3.5 ounce serving, and whole chicken with the meat and skin is approximately 215 calories for the same size serving. The chart does not specify if these cuts contain the bone, but using my best judgment, I believe they do. Alton Brown's recipe calls for one 3 to 4 pound chicken, but to keep the comparison fair, I have calculated the values using the same weight of 3 pounds for both the whole chicken and the chicken thighs, both including bone. But for this recipe, I am using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I find it easier to use a pair of scissors instead of a knife to trim the fat from the chicken thighs. I just like to clean them up a little. It'll cut back on the fat, cut back on the calories. We just got our chicken trimmed. We got our 10 inch cast iron skillet here. We want to use something that's oven safe and we're going to use a lid. So you want to have something you can put in the oven as well. That's safe for 350 degrees. While we're going to season our chicken, we're going to go ahead and throw our heat um, up so our cast iron skillet can preheat. I like to give it at least five minutes. Now back over here, we have our chicken thighs that have been trimmed, and we're just going to season them with some salt and pepper on both sides. So our cutting board is already dirty, so let's go ahead and just lay our chicken out on here. I like to do, I already washed my hands, I like to do a clean hand, dirty hand method. So clean is going to be able to pick up salt. Dirty is going to pick up the chicken. Our cast iron is preheated. We've been going for about five minutes. As you can see, a little wisps of smoke. That means we're nice and hot. This is my secret weapon. This is an olive oil sprayer, and this is how we're going to save calories for this meal. So each uh, 12 of these sprays is equal to a tablespoon of oil, approximately 120 calories. So we're gonna use a lot less oil to sear our chicken. The original recipe calls for searing the chicken in two tablespoons of oil, but we really don't need that much. So we're able to save some calories here. I'm gonna go ahead and probably put about four sprays down. We're gonna fill up the pan. You don't wanna overcrowd it because then we're not gonna get a good sear. So one, whoops, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay our chicken down. Our chicken is searing. This is a great opportunity to peel all of our garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and take all this garlic out and start peeling. 40 cloves. Now you know what's really helpful when you gotta peel a bunch of garlic? Get you a friend who can help you out. And I like 40 nice cloves. That ain't a clove of garlic. That, that's a clove of garlic. Seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty whole cloves of garlic. Let's see how we're looking. Now when your chicken's ready, it should release from the pan. Take that, flip it. That looks good. We just want some nice color on there. We're gonna do the same thing with our other pieces. Go ahead and give it a squirt of oil. That's number five. Number six. And we'll go ahead and put in two more pieces of chicken. Alright guys, chicken seared, we're going to take it out, put it here. Now, as you can see, we got a good amount of fawn down there, we don't want to lose that flavor. So here's where we break out secret weapon number three. The real recipe calls for half a cup of oil. We are going to go a lot lower calories than that, and we're going to use chicken stock. By using chicken broth instead of oil, we have a huge calorie savings here. We're still going to end up with super tender and juicy chicken without being as rich from the oil. We're going to deglaze our pan here. As 
So as you can see, and maybe you can hear, I'm scraping everything off the bottom. You get those nice brown pieces from the chicken. We're actually gonna use dry thyme. And I know a lot of people, a lot of you are against it. That's okay, that's what we're working with. And I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. Number one, it's more easily accessible to people in the kitchen. Number two, it's what I got. And number three, it's what I got. So it's gonna be fine because we're braising the chicken, those flavors are gonna develop, it's gonna be real good. We got our chicken broth in there. You can see everything we scraped off the bottom there, good fawn for good flavor. We're gonna go ahead and return our chicken thighs to the pan. Oh, whoa, 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 are you trying to steal this plate from me? You gotta dump the flavor. There we go. All right, 40 cloves of garlic going in. All right, this is looking good. So we're gonna put our lid on top here. Uh, this does have a little bit of a gap here and you know, it's not a problem if the liquid's gonna evaporate. I kind of want to contain that to keep it nice and produce a little bit of sauce at the end. So all I'm gonna do is take this sheet of parchment paper. It's gonna cover up those gaps there. And then I'm gonna throw my lid over top. This is set to 325 degrees convection. If you're working with a regular oven, just go ahead and throw it up to 350. And we're gonna let this ride for one hour. Uh, Alton Brown, he his recipe calls for about an hour and a half. That's probably because he uses bigger pieces of chicken. I know you want me to take this top off. We're not gonna do it yet. 10 minutes, and we'll come back. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. And I'm gonna just show you how tender this chicken is and how soft this garlic is. Go in, grab any garlic clove. Look how soft. Nice piece right here. Look at that. Look how it just falls apart. My recipe uses eight boneless skinless chicken thighs and has four servings. Alton's recipe uses one three to four pound chicken, but is listed as having six servings. Based on the recipe I made today, it comes out to about 483 calories per serving, not including the acorn squash I'll be serving it with. As you can see, the chicken came out super tender and juicy. The garlic is fragrant and soft, and we're serving this with half of a roasted acorn squash to keep it healthy. I'm not saying it's better than the original recipe, but it's exceptionally good for the huge amount of calories saved. Look, I'm not saying it's better than the original, but dang, that looks good. Check out the video description for the full written recipe, as well as a few helpful tips. Please comment with any questions, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you.